All right, guys. So I've got the truck here and I'm over at old Greg's place. Uh, I'll link his channel down in the description below. Uh, but I brought the truck over here. We're going to pop the topper off and take a look at the seal. Uh, so today I went to the place where I bought the topper from and they installed it when I got it because I did buy this thing new back in 2015. That's when the top, yeah, it was 2015. Um, and they said that nine times out of 10, it's got nothing to do with the seal on the topper itself. Something is crooked or it's leaking in like a, a, a seam in the bed or something like that. And after we kind of inspected it, you can tell that the topper itself is crooked on here. You can see this right here, how you've got a gap there, which also, you know, I've got a bigger gap here, but you've got that gap there. And this one is pretty even right there. And then you've also got a gap here. Let me pop this open. You've got that gap there, which shouldn't be there. And this one is tight right there. You can't get anything underneath of it. And if you come around, uh, I don't think you guys would be able to see it at all. No. If you look in there, you can kind of tell that it's crooked. Uh, I'm having water come in somewhere in that front corner and it comes down the bed rail and uh, drips right off the bottom of the bolt, the bolt that's on that front side though. So we're gonna unbolt the topper, kind of pick it up and look at the seal to see what that looks like. Uh, he recommended, uh, the guy at the shop recommended to uh, just put some RTV on the front edge and that might be all you need to do. Uh, but he didn't really want to sell me the, the seal because he said that's probably not the issue. So we're going to take a look and see what we can figure out and uh, we'll kind of go from there. So thanks to the homie for Greg <laughs> for letting me do this here. It, uh, I could probably do this in my driveway, but it's going to be much nicer to have a second pair of hands because I can stand in there and kind of pick the topper up with my back and he could probably look at, at the seal and I don't know. Otherwise, we might stick a couple two by fours in there, but we're going to get to work and I'll let you guys know how it goes. See what kind of seal is in here. Yeah, it's in. You guys even see that kind of? I thought you would be able to see on here, like where it was running, because of the lot, like the water line or something would be on on this, but. I wonder if it's. If I need to put tape over these stake pocket holes, because you can see where it's like bulged out there. I don't know if it doesn't look screwed up anywhere. No. But yeah, I kind of feel like I should put a piece of duct tape over the stake pocket up front. And like, yeah, there too, you can see where it's pushed down into the stake pocket. And it could be. I don't know. Yeah, it's like a double, double seal. You guys can see that. This side doesn't look bad either. The front looks a little wonky, but it's, yeah, I do think it was back a little far. Yeah, I kind of figured to be able to tell on the dust where it had where it had come in. The front, you can, you were only getting one seal. Yeah, on it's it. not like it wasn't far enough forward, but I don't think it come that much farther forward. All right, well, do you have any tape that's wide enough to go over those? I got duct tape. Duct tape? 
I think maybe put a piece of duct tape on there. We're gonna, we're gonna put duct tape over these holes. I think we might add a line of RTV to the front of this and pick up some RTV. Bud, can you stop for a second? I picked up a, a thing RTV. So I think I might ride a, run a bead across the front here and uh, maybe hope for that to help out. And then we'll drop this thing back down and get it adjusted properly and hope that we can kind of squeeze it together to get drop it back down. <laughs> dop it? I said drop. No, you said dop it. <laughs> We're gonna dop it back down and see if we can squeeze the end together too to kind of get rid of that gap in the window. So maybe the dude is right. Like the seal doesn't look bad at all. No. I mean, you can see a few spots where you got like. You know, you don't, you get a line in the middle down most of it mm -hmm. where the space is. But. Well, you didn't have I didn't have one up here. Basically, torque to that bolt. I didn't have anything because the bolt's right here. You'd think that would mean it just it was sealed better. Yeah. Or the I don't know. It, it's it's kind of coming off a little bit. Is it? Oh. Maybe it does need. It. Oh yeah, it's completely off. Is it ripped? Or is it's not just ripped. Not, it's just, just not, not really sealed. Anymore. Yeah, you can see the little glue. They're, they are TV did it or something. Yeah, the whole seal's are TV on. We'll maybe shoot some down that too. Yeah, that could be it. We're figuring things out. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I've got. Nothing fancy. Let dry for one hour, then tighten the torque specs. Yeah, you're right. We're gonna stick it on there. And we're gonna clamp it down. And 24 hours to fully cure before filling with fluids or returning to service. Nope. We're just gonna stick it on there. I I still mean this. I probably should have cut a bigger hole in there, but that'll be good for under the seal, anyways. Try to flip it. That's better. It gives us much better angle of the dangle. So if you guys can see, they used RTV to seal this thing on to start with. Um, and some of that has come off right in the area of the leak. So that could definitely be what our issue is there. run a glob ourselves a bead up in there. Yeah, I should have cut more of that off. Now I'm gonna get RTV all over my knife. What is that stuff called? The goop that you never get off of anything. No, that's called the, uh, uh, what's that, uh, the silver stuff. Vulcum? No, the, Anti-seize. Oh, yeah. Anti-seize. That stuff never comes off. Get it everywhere. Man, I'm shaky. Too much crack, man. Oh, there you go. Now you can see. I don't know how far back to go, but... It's like snot. It's, it's like, like snot? Yeah. It's like slow. It's like gloppy glop. Gloppy glop? Yeah. I got the Lorax? Yeah. Hashtag Lorax. Like, don't, don't pollute the streams. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it another bead. Give it an outside bead. It's like glop. It's like glop. Like Run that all the way to the front. <laughs> It's like glippity glop. Glippity glop? Yeah. Yeah, I'd be like right up in there. It's like glop. It's like glop. It's already sticking better. I mean, it could be the rubber seal is getting kind of oh, flattened. Yeah. yeah, but we'll try this. It's all sealed good here. Should we wipe that off before we... <clears throat> You think that's gonna matter that much with this? I don't think it should matter that much.
watch. If you, uh, I would. You're already doing it. You might as well try to do it somewhat right. Fine. <laughs> All right, so I'm inside the truck and I'm wiping off this front bed rail. It's the front bed rail you guys are looking at. I know it's kind of hard to see. Um, and so over here in the corner, right by the head of the bed, uh, kind of below the carpet, you can see I've got this foil tape on there and that was to seal this gap. And I did that after the topper was on. And so I didn't realize there was this big hole here. So we are gonna fill that with RTV on both sides. And, or maybe, a, no, we'll fill it with RTV and there's like a big hole there. So if water were coming in, it could easily run along this, come in right there, cause the seal might not be perfect and run down. And right here's where the screw bolt is that it was probably dripping off of that you guys can't really see cause of the light in here. But I think between this and we'll run a bead, We'll run a bead of RTV all along this front seal here uh, and seal that one up down there. That should be good. That's a big hole right there. I don't know if it's going to fill it up. Good enough, huh? Mike. Been All right guys, so we've got the seal done, we've got the duct tape on, and we've got the worst bead of RTV the world has ever seen along the front of this thing. And we're gonna try to drop it back down. So the plan is to take the rear one out, the rear tubifer out first, and drop that down. That way I can bring the topper all the way forward because it does catch on the back here. And then uh, and we'll set the front down and we'll go from there. I think it's on there fairly even. Uh, the gaps on the rear end here, the gaps here are kind of now they've equalized on both sides. Um, this used to be perfectly even, but the topper is a lot more even in the front now. So we're going to go ahead and tighten the front bolts down and then see if we can get rid of this gap on both sides. tight enough we had both kayaks on there and I got we were going up the yank and I got there and it was hanging back like a good inch and a half and it pulled the whole topper back Ooh. <laughs> yeah imagine like instead of just losing your kayaks off the roof the whole <laughs> the whole topper just lets Ooh. go yeah <laughs> that would be terrible <laughs> let me call the insurance company Saddleston. I don't think there's any way you can do it. You're right, because it just picks the topper up. On I the think we are done. Yeah. I left it. It's this corner where your paint's all rubbed off. Yeah. And you can tell it's been tighter on that. Or it's been closer on that side because there's no paint rubbed off on this side. Yeah. Good time. Well, we 
we've got everything bolted back on. Uh, I guess let's close the window and see if it looks any better. You still have a gap here. You still have that there, but it was as wide as a finger on that side before. And we've kind of evened it out. So, I mean, this isn't perfectly sealed yet, but this looks like it's lined up better on the body line on both sides. And the front end, the front edge of it looks good too. You can see a little bit of that RTV right there that I brought over. Um, so. so the hope is that takes care of all of it and we don't have a leak. Um, if we do have a leak, we'll have to try this all over again and replace that seal. But now looking at it, at least I know what kind of seal was under there because I had no idea what kind of seal they used. It's good to know that they just stuck the seal on with RTV so it's nothing that's self-adhesive. Um, I don't think. I don't think. Maybe they... It, it might have double, double sticky tape or something on it. A sticky possibly. Back, a sticky back on it. But I also know that it's going to take... We're going to have to raise the topper up a little bit more probably to get the seal on there yeah. the right way. Maybe a 2 by 6 or something at that point. But I don't know. Fingers crossed this works. I might go camp tomorrow. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So we'll see if the... If it rains, if anything happens, it just looks, I don't know. It looks tall, it looks high up here. See that? Mm -hmm. It's just kind of the same way on this side. On the bed rail. Well, we'll see. Um, if I got to go buy the seal from the guy, I don't know if I mentioned it, that they, they take it off a big roll, so I can't take it back. So that's why he said, just try to fix it this way before he sold me something, which is good for the shop. Uh, shout out to Trucks Plus in Omaha. They didn't just sell me something. The guy came out and stood in the parking lot for 20 minutes and talked to me about it and said, I'm not gonna sell you this, you know, go fix it. And you should be able to do it without the seal, without paying me money. So if you can find any shop that's going to do that, yeah. that's the shop you want to talk to. So shout out to Trucks Plus in Omaha. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, fingers crossed that it works, guys. And as you can see, it's really easy to pick the topper up. I guess I don't know if we actually got film of me lifting it. But all you got to do is bend over and you put your back up, lift your back up, and you can pop that thing up. I think it's probably a couple hundred pounds. Uh, you wouldn't want to take it on and off by yourself if you don't have to, but with two people, it's it's pretty easy to, to move around and, and negotiate this thing, but I guess that's about it. I'll leave Greg's channel. I'll try to link it down below. YouTube has kind of gotten weird with, with links on channels, as far as I can tell. Since Greg doesn't have a thousand subscribers, I can't add him in the, in the description. I have to put an actual link to his page, and I don't think that works on mobile when you try to view it. I'm not exactly sure, but it's a Midwest family. And if you see this beautiful face, you know it's him. Yeah. But I'll link it down below. You can check it out. He's got more. He's got a bunch of stuff of working on the, the homestead out here. And, uh, yeah. Anything you want to add? Got anything to say, bud? No. No? Yeah. All right. I guess stay tuned for the next adventure, guys. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah.